How's it going guys? My name is Poet and welcome to Yapology, a series I'm starting to just talk about things in a much more informal setting. It doesn't have to be about video games or I guess any specific thing. It's it's just kind of to sit down and talk. I think you get the point. You're smart. Let's get on with it. The point of today's video, as you probably read, is failure. Um, failure is a fact, you know, it's, it's unavoidable. There will always be something you, me, and everyone else fails at, and that's okay. But of course, failing sucks, man. I mean, it does. There's, there's no getting around that. It is the most humbling and most frustrating thing, I think, of all time to fail at something. I'll give you an example from my life. A uh, really big example, actually. I was going to grad school this time last year. If you've been around the channel, you know this. Um, or if you're one of my friends, then obviously you know this. I met some awesome people there. I was having an absolute blast learning something that I was genuinely passionate about. And uh, I could kind of see my future as I envisioned it starting to materialize for me. And I knew that future would be me overwhelmingly succeeding in life uh, from a societal standpoint. However, that future was pretty quickly taken away from me. School didn't really work out for me for one reason or another, and I'm not really going to get into specifics, but long story short, I didn't make it. I failed my past self and my future self by not finishing grad school and not becoming what I wanted to become. I ended up at my current job, which takes great care of me, and don't get me wrong, they pay me super well, and I'm content there, but it's nothing like I was going to have in the future. And that whole experience, losing to school and losing my planned future was humbling and challenging. It was it was a hard time, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it kicked me down for a while and it was hard to get out of that slump but it was during that time where I was down and out that I started to look inward and see where I was weak and where I was strong I started connecting with old friends and picking up new hobbies and started to realize that as damaging for my plans as that failure was if those future plans were meant for me they would have went off without a hitch it would have happened I don't mean to get all spiritual because I'm really not a big spiritual guy, but I'm a big believer of fate. Like, if it was meant to happen, it would happen. Grad school didn't work out for me, sure. So, to me, that means something else just as grand might be in store instead. And I think trying to get to that grander point in my life, school had to be removed. I I've never been necessarily bad at school in, in any way i haven't exceeded overly in school either but in this time i found that school weakened my ability to do things that i'm passionate about things that i'm i consider pretty good at that don't require any schooling so in my mind this kind of justifies not making it in grad school and i think you should kind of follow that logic too it's easy to get in your head and start second guessing your entire life after a huge fumble, maybe the fumble of the century. Discovering your flaws by failing and then turning those flaws into strengths is a much harder thing to do than just getting in your own head and second guessing everything, but it is a way more productive way to handle negative events. The example that I just gave happened almost a full year ago now, but I still fail. My last two videos on this channel have done not great compared to some of my older content. That doesn't mean I suck shit at making videos. It just means that what I did didn't work. And now that I know it didn't work, I can use that in the future and grow from it and become better. And I know a few of you probably think that this is all pretty common knowledge, you know, just take your failures and turn them into positives and learn and grow from them, but I feel like a lot of guardian figures nowadays press that failure is something entirely negative, like any step backwards is a bad thing and you'll end up homeless or, or dead, God forbid, dead. And that view of failure in life is just completely ass backwards, man, like it does not make any sense to me. Failing is okay because you can learn from it, 
grow from it and become a better version of you. Like I said, you can take a step back because the next time you move will be two steps forward. And as long as you're doing that, you're never truly losing progress in any form. So the moral of the story, I guess, fail and learn. Take failure, be humbled by it, grow stronger from it. Take it and use it as a tool to succeed. That's all I think I have to say about that, though, boys and girls. Hey, we got a Discord now, so why not come check it out? It's small, but that's all right. It just means we can all chat a little easier and get to know each other a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed this video and this start to hopefully a series here. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I just felt like this was something sometimes people need to hear to make sure that they're on the right track, that they're not getting stuck in their own mind and just obsessing over all of the, the negative things that happen. If you have anything in particular you want me to yap about, join the Discord and recommend it or just comment it down below. I don't care either or. You do you and that is fine by me. With that, I have to get ready for work. I'm running extremely late. Until next time, have a good day.